Hello YouTube. This is what I got today. It's a uh, Honda HS35. It's a little snowblower that one of my tenants had left that I could have it because it didn't run anymore. And I'm a sucker for free stuff. So I took it. Spoiler alert, it does run just not well. Pretty sure it just needs a carb clean and a little refresh. So that's what I'm going to give it. the fuel shut off it just sits on the petcock down here you can see there's little tabs on this so you just have to line that up to pull it out to get plastic shroud off ignition doesn't really seem to come off too easily but I don't think I need to anyway because it looks like we have plenty of access to the carb here and there's a little inline fuel filter right here too that oh these lines are brittle but they don't appear to be leaking anywhere so I'm gonna pull the old girl off
master on the mix Getting somewhere. See how well the fuel shut off actually works.
Okay. No idea what this screw does. All the way in. Let's take it out. If I put the little pick here, all the threads push it up. Seems to be working. Hey. A little hole here. I was able to actually put the pick into it, slowly turn, so it actually had something to push against the threads. And that, as you may have guessed, is plugged solid. Let's see how rewarding this is. Not very, huh? You can see through it now. Yep. All right. So I don't have any carb cleaner. I just took the uh, little PB blaster and I put it through everything. And It seems to flow through everywhere quite nicely, so thinking, thinking we're good. Should be good. I'm going to take the bowl to my parents and actually sandblast it because it's so rusty. So that'll be another day. Kind of full of stuff. Really not sure what I'm hitting. Oh, I see. Bottom of the pulley. Bottom of the pulley. <clears throat> So, completely unnecessary, but I'm going to pull the exhaust off. Maybe. <clears throat> Since I have to sandblast the bowl anyway, I might as well sandblast this. It doesn't rot away on me. It's really the only thing on the machine that's kind of rusty. I haven't decided if I'm going to sell this thing or stick it back at my apartment. Yep. Not really. I 
I guess I might as well hit that plate too. I can pull that off and then I can sweep out all the underbelly. So that's a few minutes of elbow grease, Dawn, hot water, and a Brillo. I will uh, go stick that on the wood stove, get it warm. And I'll dust it with some satin black paint. Trader parts ready to be reassembled. All clean, blown out. Should be good as new. I hope. It's the idea, right? How does this go? Yeah. Needle pops in here, I'm assuming. Like so. Drops down in there. Shaft. Carburetor studs out. Okay, if I can get this little oh. dabber right through. spring all right 
double nut trick. Not much of a trick, I guess. If everybody knows it, but. So we're going to go with it. Had it hanging over the wood stove for a little while. Let's see how this goes.
This is a pain in the ass. What is that?